I'm hoping everything works out well in this episode because it's called Those Who Protect, which I know it's our boys right now and Noel. But come on. What is up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again. Black Clover, episode 10. Last episode, we met Lord Heath and his uh, interesting views on classes in this kingdom and how, what he's going to do to these beasts, as he said. But, of course, we're not going to let that happen. He's in search of a magic stone. Going to kill everyone who doesn't know anything. Um, we're going to stop him, of course. And Noel is working very hard to do that. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with that. But uh, I'm going to hop into this. Remember, guys, if you guys want to support me and get early access and full length to the shows I'm currently watching and have watched in the past, check out that Patreon down below. It's always there. If you guys want to support, Patreon's not really your thing. You guys can really just leave a like and a nice comment down below. It pushes me out there in the algorithm makes me pop into other people's recommendation boxes and it helps me oh so much so thank you oh so much and remember guys you guys ever want to ask me any questions i answer them at the end of the episode check out that discord down below don't forget to follow me on twitch and on twitter for the games and the live streams and the updates all that jazz let's hop into this black clover episode 10 water creation magic sea dragon's lair oh that is a dope ass name you could have named that that could literally be called the fucking big bubble sea dragon's lair that's way cooler as their owners mature new spells are engraved oh as they mature maturity can stem from the wizard's magical powers growing through training physical okay the creative oh okay arise oh. i love it i love it oh i'm so glad they told me that so overall you can engrave new magical spells into your grimoire by leveling up training, you know, everything from physical to ha ha ha, like, uh, like, you know, has been doing, you can get creative with your magic, like coming up like, Hey, if I do this and that together, I can do this, that, and the other also another awesome idea. And then through the emotional change or the rise mature. I love that bro. Multiple ways. I love it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If I was that little girl, I'd be like, what the fuck? This is awesome. Is this his chance? Oh, dove right through it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That is true. It's a, it's a, it's a huge, stupid stuff. It's a, a huge blade, so it can definitely cause mad damage. I still wish it was sharp, though. I want to cut people's fucking heads off. I want him to go right through his, oh. He would have, he might have gone through him if he hadn't slipped on that ice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there are attributes, fire and ice. Oh, I'm getting so many questions answered, I love it. Yeah, no, his power, like in terms of his mana, is way better right now. Yeah, he's stronger. Asa's gonna get back up. Yep. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. No. Fuck, man. He's seeing himself in Asa. Yeah, of course he's. Yeah, I don't know if he's the first one from Ryaka, but he's definitely the pride of his village. Obviously, come on, guys. Magna, that's cool. What is it? Oh, it's a grimoire holder. That's fucking dope. It looks cool too. Come the best man you can. Hell yeah, be the man you can be. yeah it's not just because you and you know you have your own special reason i love that he knows what it's like to be at the bottom of the totem pool he doesn't want that feeling for anyone else oh i love the evaporation as he comes out come on magna his senior his senpai come on quite the man <laughs> Time for an initiation. 
This grimoire looks fucking awesome. That looks so fucking cool. Flint prison death scatter shot. This is better than his last scatter shot he did. <laughs> it looks like fucking endeavor on my hero. Oh, that looks so cool, man. Asta, of course. This is not the Asta I was talking about. This is not what I meant at all. That was so dope. I don't know if they planned that or what. Oh, Noelle did that. <laughs> I love how she has her Sakura in her monologues. Cha! I did it! Cha! Oh, oh, oh. See, if that was a sharp sword, his body's getting cut in half. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'm just too dark. I just want to see too many people die, I guess. See, this is a typical Muzan Kibutsuji moment right here. Who's the master? Who the fuck is the master? First, yep, prison death scatter shot, and now flame binding magic, flame bondage formation. So the fire that won't go out forms a chain around them. That's so fucking awesome. And I love how her bubble also, it's called Sea Dragon's Lair. It even has the little sea dragon going around it. I love that. They water cloned. At least one of them water cloned. So he'll be able to tell the master what happened. I think with how we were ambushed and how we came into this having zero information, we came off this a dub. This was a huge dub for sure. He's beat. He's exhausted. So is Magna though. Help. <laughs> He's literally beat. Oh lord. He'd love to see it, man. But I see them blushes on your face, Noel. Don't lie. You can't fool me. We're the audience now. Nah, yeah, they would have all been dead without these three. What's that, Anthe Bird? He has no magic? What? Go, 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 go. Yeah, there's got to be something deeper with the anti-birds, too. Why did they fly down to the church? Why is this particular anti-bird always on? Uh, this is the stone. He was able to sense the magic because they're magic birds through the walls. But why is the anti-bird want the stone? Why did this fucker even want the stone? So many questions. So it forces like a Zetsu on you? That's awesome. A magic item inside of him. Ice burial? Is this like a, a, a Kisame Jutsu? Yep. Worst case scenario, they're not giving up fucking information. Ice burial, they all killed themselves. I mean, I love the way Kisame went out and fucking... I'm not gonna say, if you don't know. No spoilers, but like, come on. Damn, that was cool. That was badass. That was cool. He was straight up said, I refuse. Bang, 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 dead. That's crazy. Oh, man. We actually lost old man Seihi, bro. I'm not surprised. With his badass sword magic, his creation magic, come on. Say he's a real man, bro. He's not taking no shit from no fucking weirdos like them. The realest of men. Good man. Good man, that's all I can say. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gotta change this next generation, change the youth. 
Yeah, if anyone's an example, it's Asta. This is the stone. Why is the bird giving him the stone? I'm so curious. Yep, that stone could have cost every life in this village. It's the charm. What? No, the anti-bird only loves no magic, so it's only going to go to Asta. Yep. Even though you think it's cute, it actually would probably hate you, Noel, because you have so much magic. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. All right. We're finally going to meet the master, maybe? Oh, this is the one that got away. Am I crazy? Or is that not the logo for the Golden Dawn? What is this, Full Metal Alchemist? Our master... What? That's the Golden Dawn. Am I not crazy or am I crazy? Come on, bro. There's no way. There's no way. So normally I feel like I would look up Golden Dawn's logo or I would go back to look at... Try to look at their... Uh, jacket during episode four or five to see if i could see that logo but i feel like with them showing you know in the petito clover thing at the end there and then heavily looking at that logo i'm almost positive it's the golden dons i'm not going to look into it because i don't want to spoil myself on anything but now come on the best magic knight squad uh, obviously they got some shit going on you know like fuck man that's just crazy though i'm so curious who the master is so curious what this whole Full Metal Alchemist, God-like, al alchemic-looking transmutation board was that shit look crazy. Um, I want to know why he was sealed. I want to know more about the kingdoms. I want to know more... Damn, they all really killed themselves. Except one who got away. They all killed themselves so they wouldn't give away info. That is insane. They're real serious about this shit. I, I, I was, I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting a whole lot of deaths in this show. Because I was uh, kind of uh, expecting some fairy tale vibes with that. You know, like... They love the characters. They don't want to kill them. I get that. But, uh, with three people we can sacrifice right now being villains, you know, that we just met last episode, I'm okay with killing them. And I like that, that we were able to take that kind of risk. I feel it. I feel it. I definitely want to know so much more information, though. I definitely teared up immensely during that episode. I had to go blow my nose, especially because of that whole Sehi thing, man. I love, I love somebody who's who is able to have so much self-reflection man that he's able to not only realize his own regrets that he wished he had worked harder as, as a as a kid but then be able to use that as motivation to help someone else and then in turn create a, a, a chain a domino effect of positivity if you think about it him changing magna like him helping magna is a big reason why magna's i mean the only reason why magna's where he's at now and then maybe i'm not saying asta wouldn't be in the black bulls but magna definitely you know is a, a huge friend of asta and helped him out th throughout his entire way and then him, them talking to nick at the end they are telling him the same exact thing you know it's like you don't realize like you know throwing negativity in the world causes negativity to be put around you know people don't realize throwing positivity in the world can easily do the same exact thing so, say he is definitely an OG, real one in the Dapper book. I gotta come up with a book for characters that are like real ones, man. You know, like Rob got his fucking willpower alumni over there. <laughs> willpower gang. I don't know. I gotta come up with something. If you guys have any ideas for like what we should call it, like fucking awesome characters that don't get the recognition they deserve, like fucking say he. Say he's a fucking willpower alumni right there. I'm just saying, man, that's fucking awesome. Fantastic episode. We don't have any questions, but if you guys want to ask me something, now would be the time where I answer it. Check out that Discord down below. Check out the Patreon if you guys want to not want to wait and check out the next week's episode and or watch the full length of this one. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the streams and the, and the games and the updates and all that. I appreciate y'all so, so very much. Thank you, Plubma, for the never-ending support. You're amazing. Have a great day, you guys. Thank you so much.